Welcome to the fifth part of the series of lectures describing the RM software for filter design. It is named polynomial linear phase monotonic amplitude filters. There are two categories of polynomial filters approximating constant group delay in the pass band. We are speaking, of course, about low-pass filters. The first class is the Bessel or Thompson filters, which are, uh, are doing uh, the approximation in the maximally flat sense. And the second is equi-ripple approximation of the group delay. The Bessel filters exhibit maximally flat approximation in the origin of constant group delay. The name stems from the use of Bessel polynomials, polynomials as denominator of the transfer function. Since all degrees of freedom are spent on group delay approximation, pure selectivity is obtained. In other words, the approximation interval of the group delay is much broader than the passband of the filter, which may be stated as redundancy. Here is the group delay and the amplitude characteristic of a seventh order Bessel filters. Note that the passband is from 0 to omega equals 1 and that the group delay is constant in a, in a frequency band which is almost 60% larger than the pass band. The RM software applies a proprietary approximation algorithm to come to a transfer function exhibiting equi-ripple approximation of constant group delay. Arbitrary value of the group delay error is acceptable as input to the problem. As in the case of the Bessel field, here again, the approximation interval of constant group delay is broader than the width of the passband of the filter. Here are two examples of equiripple approximation of constant group delay. One is sixth order and the other is the seventh order filter. The amplitude characteristic of both filters was normalized so that the uh, amplitude attenuation exhibit three, decib three decibels at omega equals unity. Uh, and we can see that in this case, uh, the, even in the sixth order filter, the uh, approximation interval of the group delay is twice as broad as the passband of the filter. Here one may see how the value of the group delay error is affecting the approximation interval. The red line here is related to a seventh order filter for which 1% uh, error is imposed, while the blue line is for the same order of the filter, but the allowed uh, change of the group delay is 0.1%. Uh, of course, both filters have uh, uh, normalized Passbands, so the amplitude characteristic is normalized to have 3 dB at omega equals 1. 
uh, even in in a very restrictive case where the, the error is such small as 0.12 percent still we have uh, approximation interval twice as broad as the passband the rm software allows for even order group delay approximant to start with the maximum or a minimum as required by the designer. This is a unique property of the RM software. So here we have a tenth order filter with group delay error of 2%. And as we can see that uh, by, by uh, imposing uh, the group delay to start with minimum, which is the red line, we are slightly losing uh, approximation interval, which is three times broader than the passband of the filter, so that is insignificant. At the end, we will show a solution of very high order filter approximating constant group delay in an equi-ripple manner. The example here is a 20th order filter with the group delay error of 2%. This kind of solutions may be viewed as delay lines with very broad very broad frequency interval which for some application may, may be crucial uh, it is a pleasure here to look to the phase characteristic of this filter which is a, an absolutely straight line difficult to be seen in any other situation so this would be the end of the fifth part of the series of lectures related to the rm software thank you for your attention <laughs>